From sizzling summer deals to changing market conditions, I'm breaking down the real estate numbers for the Charlotte Metro region for the month of August 2024. Now, if you're thinking about selling your house sometime in the near future, you definitely need to watch this video because I'm going to give you some very important information that you need to know. Before we get started, I need to let you know that all this information comes from Canopy MLS. The first thing I want to talk about are new listings. Now, new listings are defined as new homes that come onto the market and that are ready to be bought. This is an important indicator, especially if you're thinking about selling your house because it gives you an idea of the level of competition you can face. So here's the, uh, I guess, bad news. For both July and August, new listings increased. The good news is that the amount of increase in August was not as significant or not as impactful as the month of July. So that means if you're thinking about selling your house sometime in the near future, there's going to be less competition on the market. The next set I want to talk about are pending sales. Now, pending sales are defined as the number of homes that have received a contract or are under contract but haven't closed yet. So this is a gauge of buyer demand, uh, how active buyers are in the market, making offers and you know getting houses under contract. Good news is that for both July and August, pending sales increased. And the strength of pending sales in August was higher than in July. So that means there are buyers that have come back into the market looking to put homes under contract. So that's awesome news if you're thinking about selling your home sometime in September and October. It means there are buyers out there looking to buy. Now, I think this uh, can all be attributed to the drop in interest rates. So the next thing I want to talk about is the amount of inventory that's currently on the market here in the Charlotte region. Now, inventory is defined as the number of homes that are in active status at the end of a month. This is an indication of the amount of supply or competition that you as a seller, home seller could, could expect to face. So for both July and August, there was an increase in inventory. There was a significant increase in the month of August. So that's two consecutive months of increasing. Is that a trend? Is that going to continue? Well, you know, only time will tell. My expectation is, yes, it's going to continue unless there's some kind of significant rate drop by the Fed. Uh, I can tell you the market seems to be recovering. We have increasing uh, pending sales, buyer demand is increasing. We have steady price growth. We have increasing inventory levels. And uh, so overall, you know, demand seems to be outpacing supply, which is always a good thing, especially if you're thinking about selling your house. Want to read the full report, then comment data in the comment section below, and I will send you August numbers for, from the Canopy MLS. Also hit the subscribe button, that way you can be notified every time I post a new video, and we'll see you sometime in October.